Guten Morgen from Tegel Airport. This is probably one of Europe's most iconic airports, Berlin City Airport, Tegel, Berlin. Today we go on a European airplane scavenger hunt, going to test a couple of different narrow-body jets. Our first flight gets us from Berlin Tegel to Amsterdam on KLM's Boeing 737-700, one of the most successful narrow-body jets of our times. Later today, we're going to fly from Zurich to Brussels with Bombardier's new CS100. Very innovative plane, so we heard. And we want to test and evaluate how customers and passengers benefit from innovation. Summertime is usually the busiest travel time. That's especially when you see packed planes, you cannot count on an empty seat next to you. That's when you actually want to be on a very convenient modern plane. We just completed our first flight of the day on the Boeing 737-700. KLM provided us with a great onboard service. In summer, especially on a 737, you really want to make sure to pick the right seat because if you end up in middle seat and you have long legs, you're doomed. We're now in Amsterdam Schiphol, very busy airport during the main travel time summer and we're waiting for a connecting flight to Zurich. We're going to Zurich in order to board a Bombardier CS100. Bombardier's latest narrow-body jet, and uh, we are excited to test it. I've heard many good things from friends who work as management consultants, travel agents, tour operators, people who travel a lot, who told me that this new narrow-body jet, the CS100, is a game-changer. I'm skeptical. I want to see if such a commoditized product as narrow-body jets actually can improve. Um, and in a couple of hours, we're going to know if Bombardier was actually able to apply some innovations to make travel more comfortable. Now we're at the very picturesque lounge of Swiss at Zurich Airport, looking at the Alps and waiting to go to the gate to test the brand new Bombardier CS100. You don't just have two hooks here for your uh, clothes, but you also have a massively large window. This is easily 30-35% larger than usual windows. I mean, it's like a half of an arm in there. It's like a, more than a foot probably long. It's great. Especially when you're in Switzerland. Looking at the Alps, it's just picturesque. I love it. completed our first flight today on the Bombardier CS100 touchdown in Brussels at the airport and I have to say I'm amazed. You see this space, this is totally different than the usual small narrow body jets you might know from Canada or Brazil or Russia. This is a proper jet. Space is amazing, the seat pitch is amazing, 
But there's so much light in the cabin. The window is so large. Noise was very low. I'm really, really in love with this plane. It's really fantastic. Welcome to the end of our journey at Brussels Airport. Today we tested two very good planes, Boeing 737-700 KLM and Bombardier's brand new CS100 on Swiss. Both planes are solid, no wonder that 737 is a top seller for the last half century. But after just landing now and have, trying to digest my first impressions of the CS100, I have to admit it is something different. I have a tiny crush on that plane. There's so much space, so much light. There's just like the entire notion of rethinking how it is to travel on a plane, which I really like. It's just very modern and I, I hope that Airbus and Boeing, the two market leaders, are going to come up with similar innovations to make travel not just on that plane, the CS100, much more convenient, but actually on all narrow-body jets in the near future.